You know, when I moved to Quail Ridge Bible Church, one of the things I instantly wanted to do was put a playground in. I'll never forget that meeting. It was very intense. What do we need a playground for? This is church. And so I shared my heart that I didn't want the kids in this assembly to have a dichotomous life. And what I meant by that is I, I didn't want them to be playing all week and having fun all week and then showing up at church and having to act spiritual before God. I wanted them to play at church. I wanted them to have fun at church. I wanted them to understand that our God is a father and he built this world to be a playground for his kids. Couldn't persuade those people. I'll never forget one elder who pounded his fist on the table and he said, no fun in church. Fortunately, God moved him on and he grew up the others. And pretty soon we were able to build a playground. And in our new building, we've built a really nice playground. My friend Juan Carlos Ortiz addressed this issue in his book, Living with Jesus Today. One of the chapters is titled, Savior Protocol for the President. You see, the living God of the universe who is awe-inspiring is also revealing himself to us as a daddy. And you know, if one of my kids came to me like this, and followed that silly little formula, A-C-T-S. You've heard of that. First you do adoration, then confession, then thanksgiving, and only then do you let your needs be known. And so if one of my children came to me and said, oh, great father, I adore you and praise you. I confess that I've always not lived up to your desires. I'm thankful for who you are and how you've blessed me. Now, can I have a $5 bill so I can go get an ice cream with my friends? I think I'd slap them in Jesus' name. Stop doing that with me. See, you're my kid. And because you're my kid, there's no protocol. You run into my presence and you cast your cares upon me because I'm a dad and I care for you. My friends, it's the same way with our Father. No more protocol. Be a kid. Don't have a dichotomous life. Be who you are. Child of God. And enjoy the life He's given you to live. And live it to the fullest every day of your life because every day of your life, every breath you take is a gift from Him for you to experience Him in all of His fullness and express who He really is to others that they might find Him the same way you've come to find Him, as an Abba, Papa, Father. Put your hand in His and have a great day today. You are love.